Circles. As we read in this definition, a circle is a closed plane curve consisting of all points at a given distance from a given point within it. The radius is the given distance, and the diagram is from here to here, and the center is the given point, which in this case is HK. Okay, and then from there we're going to get a uh, center radius form of the equation, and basically it says looking at the diagram, if you have a circle with center HK, and a radius of r, then this is going to be our general, our center radius form of the equation. A specific center, 0, 0, has a radius r, will have the equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared, and that's simply just because we put 0 in for h and 0 in for k and simplified it, and this is what you get. All right, so we're going to look at the first example. Find the center radius form of the equation and graph it. So the first thing we're going to start with the center and put it at negative 1, 6, and then a radius of 2. So from there, go over 2, put a dot, 1, 2, go up, go left 2 from our radius, 1, 2, go down 2, 1, 1, 2, and then do the, the best you can to connect those points and draw a circle. Okay, so that's our graph, but now we need to take our x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals the radius squared. We'll label our h and our k, and then substitute those values in. So I'm going to have y minus k squared is equal to the radius squared. So if I went back in, I plugged in h was ne is negative 1. My k is 6, my radius is 2, and substituted that back in. Now we can simplify this. This becomes minus a negative is plus y minus 6 squared equals 2 squared is 4. Okay. So we look at b. Center is 2, negative 1. Two, negative one. Radius is square root of three. If I put square root of three in the calculator, I'm going to get approximately 1.732, and it's a lot of decimals, so about 1.7. So I'm going to go over about 1.7, up about 1.7, left about 1.7. And down about 1.7. Do the best you can to approximate. Like I said, these are sketches. And now we're going to substitute um, our center and radius into our equation x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to the radius squared. So just like we did on the last one, I'm going to have x minus. x minus our h is 2, y minus our k this time is negative 1, and our radius is square root of 3, and then we square that. So whenever I clean this up, I'm going to get x minus 2 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal. When you square a square root, they're inverses, so you would just simply get equals 3. Okay. So we go to the next page, and they tell us to, they give us the equation and tell us to graph the circle this time. So I'm, I'm going to determine my center, which is opposite, opposite. So I have 1, 2 is going to be my center. And my radius is going to be 4. Because square root of 16 is 4. So I would start with my center, over 1, up 2. And then from that, go 4 in each direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four in each direction, 
and then go back and connect them. Okay, so we've done all of our center radius stuff, and now we're going to talk about general form of the equation of a circle, which is basically this um, equation. So it's x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero, where just d, e, and f are real numbers. And we can determine from that if the equation is a circle, a point, or if it's non-existent. Now, we're going to mention this and then later we'll talk about it some more but basically once we take our equation from general form convert it to our center radius form like this one is then there will be a number on the right we call it p any number p when we look at it at the end when we, once we get it simplified p tells us some characteristics of our original equation if p is greater than zero then the graph is a circle and we're going to have a radius of square root of p like up here so 16 was positive so we had a radius a circle with radius square root of 16 which is 4 that's one particular case if p is exactly 0 meaning if this equals 0 then the equation is a single point which would be just the hk in this particular example would just be the point 1 2 if p is less than zero, meaning if this number is a negative number, um, then no point satisfy and the graph is non-existent. Okay, so like I said, recall we'll recall this in just a minute when we get to some of those. But right now we're going to start with, given this equation, if I ask you the center and the radius of this particular equation, just looking at it in the form that it is, you wouldn't be able to tell me that. But if we converted it to center radius form, then that's an, an easy thing to do. So to be able to do that, first thing we're going to do is group the x terms. So here and here. Then we want to group our y terms. And lastly, we're going to move our constant term to the other side of the equation. So that negative 44, when we move it to the other side, becomes positive 40. All right, if you recall complete the square method, we're going to use complete the square method to determine um, what we need to put in each of these positions. So I need to know what this box is, our C term. And to get that, if you recall, complete the square method, you take the B term, divide by 2, and square it. Now let me remind you for a minute, if this was our own um, A term is 1, the B term is 4, the C term we have not found yet. In this one, the A term is a known 1, the B term is a negative 8, and the C we don't know yet. Okay, so we did that with um, quadratic formula if you recall. Okay, and complete the square. So we have b divided by 2. In this particular case, our b is 4. So 4 divided by 2, put it in parentheses and square it. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So if this is 4, I need to add 4 to this side as well. Okay. I look at my next one, and I'm trying to find out what this needs to be. To find the box for complete the square, we take the b term, divide by 2, and square it. For this, um, for our y terms, negative 8 is the b. So that would be negative 4 squared, which is 16. So then we would have 16 over here. Okay, once we've completed the square with the x terms, completed the square with the y terms, now we want to factor. Now if you recall factoring, we would do bottoms up. What multiplies to give me 4, but adds to give me 4. You would say, well, 2 times 2 gives you 4, and then 2 plus 2 gives you 4, so I would put that over x right from the bottom up. So you would get x plus 2, x plus 2, which then, because these are exactly the same, 
I could rewrite as x plus 2 squared. So, um, I want you to recall that in just a minute. We're also going to do this next one. So if I complete the square with this one, I'm going to have what multiplies to give me 1 times 16 is 16, which is just going to be adds to give me a negative 8. Multiplies to give me 1 times 16 is 16, but adds to give me a negative 8. Well, if you can see, we get x minus 4, x minus 4, which is going to be x minus 4 squared. Okay, well, if I was to substitute these back in, I want you to check. There's a shortcut for this that's quite handy, especially when you have fractions. Um, and this only works in the complete the square method. You can't apply this to all factoring, but you would take variable of the first, sine of the second term, square root of the third term, which square root of 4 is 2, put it in parentheses and square it, and you can see that we got the same answer that the shortcut worked. Okay, for the y terms, I'm going to take variable of the first, sine of the second, whoops, sine of the second, which is a negative, and then square root of 16 is 4, put it in parentheses, square it, and this should have been a y, but um, we should have been using the variable y for this, so go ahead and make that correction. Uh, not that the variable matters, it's just going to match whatever variable you're using. And then I would say, well, 44 plus 4 plus 16 is 64. Well, now this is in center radius form, and I would be able to pick out my um, center. So from this, we can name our center, which is going to be um, negative 2, positive 4, and our radius is going to be 8. Negative 2, 4, radius 8. 